Congratulations, Peter. <laughs> huh? The girls told me you're a salesman now. Doing great, huh? Yep. Got me right out of my hands. <laughs> you had to get Mr. Martinelli to take you back. I didn't. You're kidding. Yeah, I'm kidding everybody. I asked Mr. Martinelli to cover for me so I could break the news myself. Well, where were you all afternoon? In the park. Doing what? Feeding the pigeons, I'm thinking. Pete, you're gonna have to tell the folks. I know. That's what I was thinking about. It's nice having someone you can tell your troubles to. I wish I could tell my mom and dad. But I can't. I'm a failure at 14. But who am I to tell them a thing like that about their own son? Mom, Dad, I didn't mean to interrupt. I was just looking for my books. There they are. Sorry to bother you. Uh, Peter, your father and I have been thinking about what you said. What I say? About bike riding. Oh. We've decided we'd like to get bicycles. And we're going to buy them from Mr. Martinelli, star salesman. I, I wouldn't do that. Why? Well, all that exertion on a man as old as you are could be bad. Just the other day, you said it wasn't too late. Well, that was the other day. And besides, some people get excited and go out and buy bikes, and they never even use them. Well, we'd use them. Sure we would. Well, I'd give it some more consideration. Uh, like maybe a week, or two, or even a month. I mean, what's the hurry? Excuse me. Well, that's a switch. I've heard of low-pressure salesmen, but never no-pressure salesmen. I wonder why the big change. Listen, maybe Mr. Martinelli could give us a clue. Well, I would sure love to know what let the air out of Peter's tires. You guys just don't know how lucky you are to be pigeons. Nobody can fire you. And you get free food. But I can't keep this up forever. Sooner or later, I'll have to tell my mom and dad. No wonder you guys like me so much. You're pigeons, and I'm chicken. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Oh, that's pretty good for an old man, huh? Hey, got some room on that bench for a woman of my age? <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh. I, I was just feeding the pigeons. Peter, Mr. Martinelli told us what happened. Yeah, and uh, Greg filled us in on the rest. Oh, I, I wanted to tell you, but I was too ashamed. Peter, that's nothing to be ashamed of. Of course not. There's no shame in being fired. I've lost jobs. You have? Well, I, practically everybody has at one time or another. But this is my first job, and I bombed out. Only after three days. Peter, Mr. Martinelli said you really tried. It's just that he didn't think you were cut out for this particular job. He thinks you're a very bright young man. Is that what he said? Honest? Honest. Peter, you should have told us, you know. Hiding out in the park hasn't helped anyone. Ah, uh, except maybe the pigeons. <laughs> yeah, they kind of liked it. Oh, by the way, this is for you from Mr. Martinelli. What for? That's your commission for those two bikes you talked us into buying. But I try to talk you out of buying them. Well, you can't help it if we're stubborn. You know something? I feel a lot better right now. Good. So do we. Listen, now that the whole family has bicycles, I know a great way to keep them from rusting away in the garage. Oh. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.